It's been 10 years since Kim Kardashian's sex tape was published by Vivid Entertainment and the rest, as they say, is history. To mark the occasion, Page6.com spoke with some of the key players who revealed that Kim was with her friend Paris Hilton in Australia when she learned the video of her having sex with boyfriend Ray J had surfaced. The tape was made with footage she shot with Ray J during a Mexican vacation to celebrate her 23rd birthday in 2003 and was being shopped around four years later. The contributors also painted a picture of a young woman who was determined to be famous and had even tried to engineer a romance with Nick Lackey following his split from Jessica Simpson. Kevin Dixon, a former editor at In Touch Weekly, told Page6.com that Kim tried constantly to get herself written about in his magazine and fed him a steady stream of stories. But it was only once she appeared in a fleeting cameo in BFF Paris reality show The Simple Life that he could convince his editors at the magazine to write about her. We tried to get her to sex Nick Lackey so she could be a celebrity girlfriend, Dixon told Page6.com. They went to dinner somewhere in the North Valley and we had paparazzi there. But our paparazzi told all the other paparazzi. It was Nesta Kim's attorney, Marty Singer, insisted to Page6.com that she didn't plan stories about herself or tip off paparazzi to her whereabouts. Singer also stated that his client did not lie about the existence of the sex tape. Dixon recounted how he tried to contact Kim in Australia when the sex tape rumor dropped. When he finally got through he found himself talking to Paris while Kim was crying in the background. She'd seen the story by then, and Kim's saying, It's not me, it's not me. Kim denied it and denied it and she was denying and crying at the same time, he said. In the end, Kim dropped an attempt to prevent the publication of the tape and settled with Vivid in February 2007. Ultimately she did sell us the footage so we had the ability to put it out and distribute it, Stephen Hirsch, the founder and co-chairman of Vivid Entertainment, told Page6.com. Reports at the time claimed Kardashian was paid $5 million, a figure Hirsch doesn't dispute but that Kim's attorney singer described as greatly inflated. Dixon told Page6.com, then she calmed down. When, Vivid, fucked money with her, she started talking to me, more frequently again. Kim Kardashian, Superstar was released by Vivid on March 21, 2007. The instant fame and notoriety Kim enjoyed with the release of the sex tape brought her friendship with Paris to an end. In August 2007, Paris' series A Simple Life was cancelled by MTV. Two weeks later, E! announced it had commissioned a non-scripted series starring Kim, her mom Kris Jenner and the rest of the Kardashian-Jenner family. Meanwhile, Page6.com reports that Kim Kardashian, superstar has been viewed online more than 150 million times and has made over 50 million dollars. Vivid has also named March 2017 as Kim Kardashian sex tape month.